Hey everybody, thanks for watching. My name is Rick and a couple weeks ago I installed the steel Mopar Rubicon uh, front bumper, took off the plastic bumper and also the plastic skid plate that comes stock on my, came stock on my Willis. Uh, it's a 2020 Unlimited. Uh, wanted to do a steel bumper just for the protection. I like the look of it and eventually I'm going to throw a winch on here. It wasn't until I was in the middle of that that I didn't that I realized that you actually need that steel skid plate. Uh, for some reason in my head, I just thought the plastic one would fit back in, but it does not. So I'm gonna give you the part numbers for that steel bumper, for this little fill-in piece that you'll need between the grill and the bumper if you're not gonna do a winch right away. And then there's also a bolt and bracket kit that you need as well if you had a plastic bumper to start with. So I'm gonna give you all those part numbers below. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of those parts and then we'll get them installed on the Jeep so you can see how it looks. All right, so this larger box here is obviously the skid plate. So let's get this open and see what we got. I ordered this from a company, I think it was on eBay if I remember correctly. And one thing to keep in mind, if if this is cheaper than about 200 bucks, it most likely does not have the brackets and the bolts that you need. So you're gonna have to order that separately. This is about $75, so you're gonna need to order that too. The first time they sent this to me from the eBay place, they actually sent me a box that had the right part number on it. They sent me the wrong skid plate. So this one does look correct, which is good. All right, so here is the little skid plate. I believe it goes this way if I remember correctly. So looking good. And this should be the bolts and nuts that we need. And brackets. So yeah, so here's the couple brackets that you're gonna need. I'm not sure why one's in plastic and one isn't, but that's what we're shooting for. And then you have these little uh, captive type nuts that fit in the frame and then you screw into them. And metal bolts that go along the top here, connecting you to the bumper. And then these are just the bolts that go with those guys. So again, this little package here is about $75 or so. This guy, I think it was 170. Um, so just look around and you can find kind of the whole thing for less than 300 bucks but you will find them together as well. And it seemed like they were more expensive buying them that way. So just make sure you get the right parts. And again, I'll have all that stuff linked below. Um, that little plastic piece I was talking about, the filler, I already have that installed. And I believe I put the part number in my last video. So I'll get that down below for you as well. All right, let's go ahead and install this and we'll see how it goes. The first part of this is to take the captive nuts, put them in the hole, and then you're going to use the screws and then tighten them pretty snug to kind of lock those captive nuts in place. And then once you do that, just unscrew them and then we'll put the brackets on. And these guys here are either a 5 8 or a 16 millimeter socket. I did not have any instructions, but it looks like this is the way this is supposed to go on here. It's a 5 8 or 16 mil. Now we're going to use the black screws and screw the bumper in. Those silver clips you see there should be from when you had your plastic bumper on the vehicle. Yeah, so put everything Put everything in there loose first. Just give yourself some wiggle room. Just get all these holes lined up. All right, so here. All 
All right, guys, so that's really about it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the most important thing is if you are gonna do this front bumper, just realize you are, if you wanna do the skid plate, you're gonna need to order the skid plate. And if the skid plate doesn't come as a big package and it's about three to three to three hundred fifty dollars, then you're probably gonna have to order that uh, special bracket and the captive nuts, bolts, all that kind of stuff. Cause unless you get it from somebody that took it off and they give you all that stuff with it, you do have to buy all those extra parts. Um, with the off-roading that I do, I, you know, probably don't necessarily need that steel skid plate up there, but you just never know. You could get a random rock flying through or hit a branch or something. So probably a good idea to do it. Um, these Rubicon bumpers, even if you get them take off, are still expensive. I paid almost a thousand for mine. And when you look at all the other options, as far as bumper wise, you can certainly find stuff for cheaper, but I like the stock look. I like the red tow hooks, um, came with the led lights as well and all that good stuff. So, if there's anyone in town or close to Tucson that's interested in purchasing my takeoff bumper, uh, shoot me a message. I'll leave my email in the description. Um, but it has the, I have all pretty much, I think there's maybe one plastic clip that's missing, but otherwise I have all the other bolts and parts and it does have the LED lights with it. Uh, so let me know, we can work something out there, but uh, I really don't want to ship it. But uh, anyway, I think it finishes off the look nicely and gives me a little more protection. So. We appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.